Hi, we are visiting Anna's channel again this week. You might remember us from the pantry behind us that we built and shared on her channel a while back. Uh, this week, we uh, built this counter height dining room table and Anna was so nice to drop a plan for us. It fits our space perfectly. We can still seat six people comfortably around us, which is perfect for our space. And in this video, Nate and I are gonna show you how to build it. So to get started, you're gonna need some one by twos, one by fours, two by fours, and a four by four. Uh, all of the exact boards and cuts will be in the plan link. All right, so these are all of the boards needed to build the legs, um, and these are all the straight cuts. As you can see in the plan, we need to angle up these two by fours and the base two by four. All right, so we got 45s on all the two by fours, and now we're gonna start assembly. So what we're doing is we're kind of laying out this first leg and we need to find center of this two by four and center of the four by four, mark both and then attach. So for these angled pieces, we're just going to glue and we're going to screw them from the top and the bottom and then we're going to toenail them in where they meet that 4x4. Four four. And in the plan, Anna has the measurements for where they need to meet that bottom and top support. That bug was in our screw container. Ew. did not, babe. So funny. One down. All right, let's build another one. All right, now we're gonna do the center X to attach the two legs. So the two by fours have the pocket holes in them. We're gonna attach them to the legs. We need to mark the legs where the placement is. So this is the plan that Anna gave me and I don't have the measurements for where those horizontal boards meet the legs. So I'm gonna actually cut those center X pieces first so I can kind of fit it together and figure out what those measurements need to be. So we kind of needed to jockey things around a little bit here to figure out where those horizontal boards needed to be placed so that we had the correct measurements of where that angled X piece in the middle would sit right. So these measurements will be in the plan for you to make it easier and you won't have to do this figuring when you build it. So now we need to work on the center X's. We have our first board cut. Other way, baby. And then we just marked the placement. And a line here, we gotta line it up with. And a line here. All 
right, we're gonna get this last part of the X in. It took a couple adjustments. Um, as I mentioned before, we didn't know uh, this measurement yet, so we had to do a little bit of figuring on the go. Uh, when I have Anna draw me plans, she is amazing and gets it all done, and then sometimes you have to make adjustments on the fly. I know when Anna builds, she does the same thing. She has a basic concept and a basic plan, and then she will make the adjustments and then make those adjustments in the plan before she gets them out to you. So it's uh, looking great. And I really have not done much on angled cuts at all. So this is challenging for me anyway. Um, so I'm just excited to see it come together and actually uh, hopefully it'll look like an X here in a few minutes. Okay, so the base is done. We're gonna fill all the holes with wood filler and while that's drying, we're gonna start on the top. So Anna has a video for building a tabletop and I'm using that same method here. We will link that video in the description that will give you more detail on this. So we've just marked all the pocket hole placement and then the end grains are flip flopped from each other and Anna's video will explain all of this in more detail. So there's the tabletop. We're gonna flip it back over now. We just wanted to check it out to make sure uh, there were no screws coming through. We really focused on getting this side flush. I think we did a pretty good job keeping that straight. Now we're gonna take a straight edge, clamp it, and rip this side so we know we have a nice straight edge here. And we know we want our overall dimensions to be 60 inches. We're gonna do a one by two at each end for just a small breadboard end to just sort of trim that end out. So we're gonna cut this to 57 inches and then we'll add some pocket holes to the end like we have here to attach that breadboard. sanding and cleaning up but there's our tabletop what do you think babe can't wait to finish it you want to set it on the base and see what it looks like sure. do you need help oh. 
Oh yeah. I like it. That's gonna look nice. So it's a like a three quarter inch overhang on each side, and then we have about I think seven inches on each end. So we could put a stool here. Okay, so that's it for tonight. It's uh past our bedtime. We're gonna call tonight. Do you wanna call tonight? Oh, <laughs> babe, don't please don't. Yes, it's time to be finished. So we're gonna um, finish these up tomorrow. We have a plan. We're gonna paint the base and stain the top, but you're gonna have to wait to see what colors we choose. See you in the morning. No more bugs. So I don't have a planer or a belt sander. Um, this is gonna get the job done, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer for me to get, uh, get it to where I want. Um, and then the other thing is, I know the color I want to paint my base. I'm gonna hold off on finishing this because I wanna do a few test boards uh, and test colors once I get the base done to figure out and really narrow down what's gonna look the best. done sanding um, I spent a good amount of time on the tabletop and the base uh, I don't know about you but my build usually takes about the same amount of time as finishing the project uh, I definitely enjoy the build more than finishing uh, but I do appreciate it when it's all done what's your favorite part of the project do you agree with me building is more fun than finishing however you're closer to the finish line when you finish so um, I'm gonna go ahead it started raining today uh, we've had about, I don't know, a month of sunshiny days. It's like 85 degrees and rainy. Um, so I was going to spray this, but I'm going to go ahead and just brush it on and get it done. I don't want to wait any longer, so I'm going to get going on it. colors I'm going to try out uh, for the top. I'm just going to get some on this scrap wood here and let it dry and uh, just get an idea of what that's going to look like. All right, so basically a natural. And then these are both very similar. I can't tell much of a difference. This is sort of a gel stain and I can get that quite a bit darker. Um, and this was an age wood accelerator. Tough choice. on how to seal this tabletop with a polyurethane and mineral spirits, a half and half mixture. Um, that's what I have here. And it's been sitting for a couple days in the video. The gentleman said to let the mineral spirits evaporate a bit um, before applying it. So that's what I've done. I will link that video in the description.
that's the table. We got it all moved into our space and um, it is exactly what I had envisioned. Yeah, me too. It's uh, everything that we wanted and I think we ended up choosing the correct colors to, to complement everything else in the house as well. Yeah, I agree. It looks really good with the pantry here and it's gonna seat six people comfortably and it doesn't take up a huge amount of room. I really like the counter height. Uh, we found some really nice swivel stools that are adjustable from Amazon and we will link those in the description as well. They're so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so Nate is a beginner woodworker. I've been sort of teaching him woodworking. And what would you say, how difficult was this project on a scale from one to 10? One being easy, 10 being most difficult. I would probably say three, two, or four. It actually, once you got started, the process was fairly simple. I think uh, some of the cuts, you know, the 45 angles and things like that was a little difficult for me to just really understand. But uh, once you got those cut, the process was simple and it was a pretty easy build. Yeah, I love Anna's plans and just how, how simple she makes it. And even if you are sort of figuring things out as you go, um, that I think it's always achievable as long as you have a plan to go off of. So we're very fortunate that she was nice enough to take time to draw us up a plan. Do you like it? I love it. It's beautiful. Like you said, it complements the rest of the house and our previous project that we did recently. Yeah, super happy with how it does. It looks really nice with the pantry. We, we actually ended up moving the pantry across the room to sort of situate it with the table. We just feel like it looks uh, nice over here and complement each other pretty well. I'm rambling, so I'm gonna cut this. Um, you are rambling. There's else. You do a lot better when I do this. Don't give me wet willy. He's the bug guy and the wet willy guy. <laughs> Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, the free plans are on Anna's website, and she will be back next week with a brand new video. Good job, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Catch the woe. <whoa. laughs>